That's just being mean, purity mean to people. And sometimes you guys don't know what a person is going through that day. And you can say something to that person and push them right over the edge. And you will be responsible for that person's life because you pushed them. <laughs>the such and such seems fabricated. Because <laughs> David said, I mean, Bill said that he couldn't, his name is David, but Bill said that he couldn't, um, he didn't know the lady's ring size. And also she wanted to pick out her own ring, but he didn't know her ring size. So the guy Ed was like, well, why couldn't you ask her what her ring size was? He said I did. And she didn't know because she's never wore rings before. <laughs> so she didn't know where her ring size was. <laughs> so that's when uh Ed was like, I think your whole story, the ring, and something else, something else is fabricated. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> I'm like, y'all need to leave David alone. Bill. Leave Bill alone. But y'all Bill in love. So they had his friends on there and if they asked his friends, do they think he's being scammed? And the one lady that's from Ukraine, the one lady I told y'all who translated for him, and he got mad at her because she didn't tell him what the I mean she told him what the translator was telling her. And he got mad because it wasn't what he wanted to hear. She said, yes, she's scamming him. I believe that she's scamming him. And she was like, I believe she's stringing him along. Like, I think she's stringing him along. So he'll keep paying.
all of a sudden you propose to her. You get her a phone and her nails won't allow her to use the phone. So he was, so they asked him, well, why do you have to keep paying for this website to talk to her? He said, if he talked to her out of the, out of the website, he can get in trouble for that. It's like, fool, people meet people on the internet all day. You sound dumb. He can get in trouble if he talked to her not on that website. And the people like, that don't even make any sense. So Ed told him, I know y'all hear them moving upstairs, y'all. Like I said, they move all day. It's 12, almost 1 o'clock in the morning. And they moving around. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Well, help my time. As my sister Jenny would say. Because I forgot what I was saying. I don't know. The, but the, the friend, the lady friend said that she believes that the lady Lana is scamming David. And she's going to keep on, you know, doing it because she's going to get all that she can get. It's pretty much a job for her. That's her income. Because they said, well, do you think that Lana's getting paid from the website? And the lady said, I believe she's getting something. And this lady is from Ukraine, you guys. She's from Ukraine. So she know all the ins and outs. But she was like, yeah, I think she's getting paid. She's probably getting paid something. They're probably giving her some type of money off of it. It's like, wow. I don't understand it. That he really thanking him and this woman about to be a couple, an item. They ain't, she ain't thinking about David. Bill, whatever his name is. It's David, y'all, but I want his name to be Bill for some reason. No pun intended, nephew Bill. Bill Jr. So I know a new episodes are supposed to come out, or season is supposed to come out. Hopefully it's interesting. And they got some for real people on there, not no fake people. Like Yolanda's fake self. That, I think Yolanda's story is fake. I really do. Can't nobody tell me different. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me Jack. I don't believe that her story is a real story. I really don't. They were trying to hook Yolanda up with, um, um, what's the one guy's name? He went to Ukraine looking for a woman too. I forget his name, but he did nails. He was a nail tech in, uh, I think in California or in Vegas, one of the two. Caesar, his name was Caesar. They told him Yolanda that she should hook up with Caesar. <laughs> she was like, I don't see no muscles on Caesar. We can definitely be friends, but with relationship, no. <laughs> well, at least Caesar is real. He's a real person. Unlike Williams, who ain't real at all. Caesar is a real person. You can see him in the flesh. Yes, you can. I didn't bring no bowl. 
or nothing over here to put these um, shelves in. I'm gonna put them up there just so y'all can't see them. Y'all probably say she just got stuff everywhere. It's all right though, y'all. So I'm just gonna, um, we're all gonna live. Y'all, these crab legs are humongous and ain't got nothing in them. I think I told y'all that the last time. Remember I was telling y'all that um, Albertsons was going to have crab legs for $6.97. These are not those crab legs, but I bought some. I went and I bought about six pounds for myself and then my friend wanted 10 pounds. So about 16 pounds. They only let you buy 10 pounds. So I had to go to two different Albertsons. to get them. So there will be a video with those crab legs. These are not those crab legs. These are not. These are the ones that I bought from the last video that I did with snow crab. And I almost killed myself with the sauce. Mm -hmm. These are those. They sweet though, they nice and sweet. It's just for them to be so big. They don't got enough meat in them. For them to be as big as they are. Mm. And they hurt a little bit too. I was watching, um, who was I watching? I forgot y'all, no, I don't remember y'all. It's one o'clock in the morning. I need to be asleep, is what I need to be. I need to be asleep, oh yes, I do. Do, ooh, ooh. I was watching, um, what's her name? She was eating 12, a dozen of um, blue crab. Y'all want some blue crab so bad. And the place that I normally get my blue crab from, because y'all know I go and I catch them myself. I catch them and I bring them home and I cook them, clean them up and everything. She was eating 12 blue crab. She's from Delaware. I believe she's from Delaware. And they look so good. I'm like, I want some, but my store has not. And I'm saying my store like it's my store. The store that I got them from, get them from, hasn't had them. And they do have them in stores around here where you can just buy them and they're um, previously frozen or whatever. I'm not eating those. For some reason, those ones are mushy. Because you don't know how long they've been dead. You really want blue crab. Straight out to the water. Kicking and fighting and everything. I got a video. That I show y'all. How I clean my blue crab. I'm going to put an eye card right there. Of that video. If I could find it. So that. I could watch that video. Because I went and caught those crabs myself. I went and caught them. I did. Me. I sure did. Mm-hmm. I did. Y'all look burnt out. The hair look a mess. I didn't know my hair looked like this, y'all. But it's all right. It's 1 a.m. Y'all probably say, fool, it ain't going to be 1 a.m. when you put this video out looking at hot man. It ain't going to be 1 a.m. But it's still all right. We have our days. We ain't got to be pretty every day. You do not got to look 
the pot every single day. You don't always feel like it. What was I watching? I know one day I was watching um, ex Tina Grubbs. And she was saying how she wasn't feeling the video. She probably wasn't going to talk. Because she wasn't feeling it that day. And you know, some people probably would say, well, why would you record if you wasn't feeling it that day? Because recording probably made her feel good to record. So you don't always got to be this glamorous, beautiful soul every single day. Now, don't get on here looking a mess. I watch somebody video. I'm like, do they comb their hair ever? Don't be trying to guess who it is. It's just a person. But I just said to myself, do they ever comb their hair? It's like, you know, people are looking at you. Comb, comb your hair sometimes. You know, not, don't. And it's like you would think that they were just stressed out because they're taking care of babies and it's like, but you had those kids. You had them. So you should be able to maintain combing your hair, maintain them children. It's crazy. But you don't always feel like, oh, let me get cute for the camera today. That's not the way that you feel all the time. And if you know, this is a, some, sometimes this is a job for people. This is their job. And they would prefer, they in the privacy of their own home, so they didn't feel like they need to get dressed. All the time. And the thing is, it's not up to you, the viewer, to tell them, why don't you do something with yourself? I'm quite sure they look at their video and see, you know, I look a little rough today. Or if you do have something to say, inbox them. Don't put that on their 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 post in their comment section like you look a mess. You're going to comb your hair today. Don't, don't put that on somebody's thing. Because then you say it and other people ride off of what you said. And just get to going in on that person because they're going off of what somebody else said. They'll say, uh, I was thinking that, but I didn't say it. But now that you said it, I may as well say something too. It's, you know, don't do that to people, y'all. I don't know how we got to this part of the, the day. But it, it's not okay to be mean to people y'all it's not okay especially because one person was mean so you feel well she said something so i may as well say something too if that's what you're thinking keep your thoughts to yourself just don't comment on their video at all if that's what your thought is if you see a person's video and you ain't feeling what they doing don't go and say yeah that's that you should have did like this or you shouldn't do it does not matter if you don't have anything nice to say to the person don't say nothing to them at all I mean, and it's okay. We are on this platform and we are going to be criticized. But you can kind of keep some of your negative opinions to yourself. Now, if you tell me in a nice way, you know, you was, I saw your video and your hair was looking a little, you know, shabby that. I think you should do more to yourself, you know, make yourself up, make you look like something or something. Then that's fine and dandy. I can receive that. But don't get in my comment section talking about, is y'all seeing this mess of a hairstyle she got today? That's not necessary. It's really not. That's just being mean, purity mean to people. And sometimes you guys don't know what a person is going through that day. And you can say something to that person that puts him right over the edge. And you will be responsible for that person's life because you pushed them there. And not saying that it's your fault, but you played a part in it. 
because had you not said anything, kept your comment to yourself that day, that particular day that you thought that she was just off and something wasn't right. Or he was just off and something wasn't right. I don't want to just say she. Or he was just off and something wasn't right. If you would have kept that comment to yourself, you probably could have saved a life because a lot of people go through things and, and you probably say, well, why would you be on here on this platform doing this type of thing? When you know that people are going to criticize you. Yes, people are going to criticize you. That is the truth. But that's not, you didn't come here to be criticized. You didn't come. You thought that, you know, I'm going to turn on this camera. I'm going to record myself. I'm going to do my thing. But you're not expecting for people to be mean to you. That's not something you expect. And you you are going to get some people that's going to have something to say. Everybody's going to have something to say. Everybody has an opinion. And that is your opinion. But sometimes your opinions are not needed to be spoken out loud or needed to be uh, voiced through the comment section. Just keep it to yourself. If that's the way you feel, say it in your head. Well, I don't know why she's doing that video with her hair like that. Keep it to you. Don't put it on that person's page or his his or her page. Don't do it. That's just a little PSA announcement. Nobody has come and said that my hair, but I don't come on here looking a mess. Anyway, I do it right today. And I tell you when I look a mess. I'm looking a mess. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's not that serious for me to come get all dressed up. I just wanted to come and eat with y'all, share a little bit with y'all about uh, my homeboy Bill. That he's still in love with a woman that he ain't with. He said they're not together, but they still engaged. I, I, I'm still trying to figure out that one. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I don't get it. How you together, but how you engage, but y'all not together. I'm not getting it. Y'all, I don't, I don't know. But I just was wondering. He said she need to pick out her own ring. But I was just trying to figure out, like, how she don't know what her ring size is. Her ring finger size. Y'all, I don't know. I, I don't get it. But she didn't know the size of her ring finger. That's because she didn't want no ring from David. But I don't understand how did he find a ring size. And the cubic zirconian, if he didn't know her size. So did you just go pick a ring? A woman, the average size is six or seven. I believe it's a six or seven. That's the average size for a woman. She's a fairly skinny young lady. So she probably could be a five, five and a half, five. But he bought her the cubic zirconian ring. And why couldn't you just buy a real one? Because, well, he said because she wanted to pick it out. So the lady... um, is her name Tony, the host of the show? She asked him, "Is she is has he ever been engaged before?" And he said, "Yeah, two ladies in Ukraine and two in America." And he said, "So she asked him, well, did they get a um cubic zirconian?" He said, "Well, no, one of them didn't, but the other two they didn't get a ring at all. I just hadn't bought their ring yet." So David is just looking for love, y'all. He just wants some love. So y'all looking for a David or a Bill? And you want to be in love? Um, contact David. I'm put his number up here. It's gonna be seven 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 ninety three eleven. Y'all really thought I was about to give y'all a number, huh? I, I don't know David's number, y'all. I, I don't. But uh, if you looking for David, just look him up on social media. Holler at him. DM him. Hit him up in his DMs. And tell him that you are an American woman and you want to love on him the way that he's supposed to be loved. And you want to caress him. Y'all, I'm about to go. Let me let me go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell. So that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Oh. Don't forget to wash your hands.